welcome to video number four in our Easter series. So far we've learned about Jesus dying on the cross to make a way back to God for us. And today we're going to learn that Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose again. After Jesus died on the cross, a wealthy follower of Jesus called Joseph went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Joseph took Jesus' body and buried it in his own new tomb. He rolled a large stone against it and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sat outside. The next day, chief priests and Pharisees went to Pilate and asked him to seal the tomb and to place guards on it. They were afraid that Jesus' disciples would go to the tomb and steal the body of Jesus. At dawn on the first day of the week, the Sunday, there was a violent earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled back the stone from the tomb and sat on it. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and fell to the floor. That same morning, the women went to look at the tomb. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go and tell his disciples, He is risen from the dead. So the women hurried away, afraid, yet filled with joy. But Mary had been left alone in the garden by the tomb. She was sad and was crying. As she turned around, she saw Jesus standing there, but didn't realise it was Jesus. She thought he was a gardener. Then Jesus said her name, Mary, and she knew straight away that it was Jesus. She went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. The angel said, he is not here, he is risen. So, just as Jesus said would happen, on the third day, he was crucified on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On the third day, Sunday, he rose from the dead. Jesus' death for our sins was accepted by God. Death couldn't hold Jesus, as he had no sins of his own. So God powerfully raised him from the dead to a new life beyond death. He would never die again. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So Jesus has beaten sin and death for us. And if we trust in him, we have a certain hope to look forward to of everlasting life with him in heaven. Jesus is risen. We trust a risen saviour who has beaten death and we have hope for the future. So today, we learned that Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose from the dead and he has beaten sin and death. Next week, we'll finish the true story of Easter time as we look at what happened next. Jesus was seen alive by many more people and he went back to heaven. We'll see you then. Bye.